I read somewhere, talking of sex appeal, that you, you don't think you're a very sexy person. No. You don't, you don't think you're very attractive? No, not by my standards. What are you, Should I tell you why? What are your standards? <laughs> well, first of all, I, 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 I have to make up to look halfway decent. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't right now, because you've got your Acapulco? Palco? Acapulco, <laughs> yes, yes. Tan. No, I, I, I mean, it, it all depends on what your idea of beauty is. My idea of beauty is not having to do a thing mm. and get out of bed and look ravishing. Now, how many women in the audience can do that? <laughs> no? <laughs> yes? How many men? <laughs> Yeah. But very few, I'd say. I mean, that's it. That's an entirely idealistic view of beauty. Who do you know of your female friends who can do that? Get out of bed and look ravishing? No. Or indeed ravenous? Not very many, but I'm always... I'm, 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 I'm a pushover for what I read in the newspapers. So when I see these um, Hollywood stars saying, well, I just get out of bed and run my fingers through my hair and I'm ready for the day, I believe it. That's Paul Newman, though. Well, probably. <laughs> yeah. But if you don't think you're attractive inside, mm. how can you be attractive outside? I mean, if you're not convinced of your own attractiveness, how do you think you've managed to attract so many men? Have I? Well, <laughs> shouts of yes from the back. <laughs> <laughs> Any from the audience? <laughs> Uh, well, I, I put it all down to, to, to makeup. I mean, um, and also the parts and that modesty. you play. Also the parts that you play. Yeah. If you play parts and, and all the other characters are saying, goodness, how beautiful she is. You can brainwash people if you play glamorous parts. Yes. Like, like you did, I hate to go back to the Avengers, but like you did in the Avengers, mm. which is a kind of sexy, glamorous role, you were then cast as a sexy, glamorous woman. Mm. But right. you were still not convinced yourself. Not at all. Now, following on from the Avengers, do you remember you went on to do an American TV series, didn't mm, you? Disaster. Yeah. But the one thing I like about you is that you cope with disaster very oh, well. Oh, I had a lot. Yeah. I think they're quite funny. Yeah. But the Americans don't like disasters, no, no. do they? They hate them. They don't like talking about them at all. Why do you think that happens to you and not to Glenda Jackson? Oh, she's cleverer than I am. <laughs> but would it, would it be because you take more risks than Glenda Jackson? I don't know. Because, you know, I think of you, well, I'm sure many people do, as, and Glenda Jackson, in that same kind of light as equal artists. And I know that Time magazine once picked you out, some years ago, as the best actress in Britain. Well, that was jolly nice of them, but, you know, fair as fair, I haven't won as many awards as Glenda no. has. I mean, Glenda has Oscars from here to the kitchen door. Mm. No, I haven't. Have you, have you not got a nose for disaster? If somebody says, oh, you're a very experienced actress and a very mm. successful one. I mean, I've been in the business now for, I mean, a good many years. Steady. Shall I tell you how Steady. I mean? And I've had two major disasters. And actually, because of those major disasters, you know, I've got something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Success is fearfully boring to talk about. Yeah, but the disasters... How long does a disaster depress you for? Artistically. Oh, I tell you, uh, uh, as long as it takes me to get back home. And then it's wonderful when you get back home, because disaster doesn't matter a jot. Well, because you're a housewife and mother, really. Yes. I mean, I had dinner in your house. I know. And not only you your... got drunk. <laughs> You're mixing me up with John Wells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I you didn't. You thought I wasn't going to tell you that. You <laughs> but you see, there you are, sex symbol, although you deny it. He said, desperately trying to gloss over a very nasty <laughs> mother. Yeah, and cook and mother. It, you know, as mothers go, it makes me laugh so much. I read all these uh, magazine uh, things about how to be a good mother and how to reconcile being a mother and a career woman. I read them avidly in my hairdressers because I think somebody's got to have the answer. Well, for all you women sitting out there, there is no answer. Life is a series of compromises and you just carry on sort of picking up little bits and pieces to fill in the gaps and holes in my darling daughter. Finally, are you still biting her bottom? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. When she allows me, when I'm in her good books. How old is she now? She's five. <laughs> well, that's all right. You'll be in trouble when she gets to 15, No, I tell you, I'm, I'm in trouble now. Because she looks up at me and she says, Mummy, you disappoint me. <laughs> and suddenly the whole situation is... Where I'm, mm, I'm the one that's sucking my thumb. Does she know what you do for a living? Sort of vaguely. Vaguely. She's not fiercely interested at all. I would like to think that since, since time called you at one stage the best actress in Britain, that uh, you would realise that full potential. Do you think 
you can go on to be a really big international star. No. Are you happy? No. Not interested. You want to be with Rachel and your husband? And... Well, it's not that. It's just that the best work, I believe, that the best work uh, in the theatre consistently is done in England. And that we have standards and we, we have a, an approach to the theatre here. And I'm being desperately serious now, aren't I? There's a hush. But anyway, I mean it, really mean it passionately, because I care about my profession. Uh, that I think it's done, the best is done here. And that from time to time, one takes little excursions abroad and fails, <laughs> and then comes back. But I, goodness, I love acting, and I love audiences, and I love theatre. And I just hope, having worked with, with, with um, a lot of older actors this year, that I'm still doing it and still as clever and brilliant and crafty as they are when they're 76 or 5 or whatever they, you know? I'm sure you'll age beautifully. Do you and, think? And you'll do all that. <laughs> and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank Diana. you. Thank you.